Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again, continuing our Beginner's Guide series in Minimator. And today we're going to cover a pretty cool, simple little trick here in how to add text in Minimator. So we've already got our scene set up with everything that we've done up until this point. And I want to go ahead and add text maybe to our second shot here where the uh, camera goes over to this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to go over here to the text icon. And then you have text and we're just going to create it. We're not going to change anything right away. And there you go. There's your text. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and position this the same way I would anything else. We'll go ahead and rotate it so it's in line with the camera. We're going to bring it up over here to the camera, maybe something like this. I feel like it's a bit too big, so we're just going to scale it down like so. We're going to bring it up closer to the camera here. Bring it in, you know, just little things. Maybe give it some rotation, stuff like that. So we'll just have like some text right here, maybe... We're doing some cool opening credits or something. We'll tilt it back so it faces the camera just a little bit more. Bada bing, bada boom, there's your text. And then over here, you'll see the text properties. And basically right here is where you can just say whatever you want it to say. So we're gonna say uh, animation by, I'm gonna go down a line, anxious, cynic, just like so. And then as you can see, since we added that text, we gotta kind of move our position here just to get it a little bit better aligned up there and there you go and as you can see it's also very difficult to see this uh, if I turn rendering on maybe it's a little bit better but you know it kind of depends on what your lighting is but we want this to be a little bit more visible let's go ahead and bring that down all right so what I'm going to do is bring out the brightness bada bing bada boom there you go the dang old text is within the view and we can actually Let's back this up a bit because it looks like it's a little bit out of focus. doesn't really matter, but just for the sake of this. Let's go ahead and do like this. And then while we're on this shot here, we're going to have this. I'm going to line it up here. Right about there. And we're going to just kind of have this text move over the course of this shot. So let's just kind of have a little fun here with this. And we're going to set another keyframe. And we'll just kind of slide that over just a tad. So it's like an opening credit, just like that. And we'll just leave that keyframe on linear, which is good for me because we just want to be moving kind of constantly during that whole shot. All right, so there you go. There's how you can add text. Of course, I had the brightness up. We can change the color here. I can make it red if I want to and bring up the mix percentage, something like that. I'd recommend being careful about what colors you use because sometimes they can be kind of difficult to see sometimes it depends on you know the lighting of your scene and what's going on stuff like that but there you go and uh, what we can do actually is go to the project properties here I'm going to go into the library and we have our text object selected there and this is just 2d text as you can see it's just kind of you know 2d nothing much going on with it but we can go ahead and tick this 3d option which is another one of the features of the new and updated improved Minimator, and now we have a 3D text object just like so. But maybe we want to change some of the aspects of the text here. So what I can do is go over here to the scale. I'm going to click this button here so we can get the individual uh, axes so we can scale them individually. And we're on yellow here, I think, for our depth. So that's going to be the X axis. And I can just bring this up. Oh, nope, I was wrong. All right, maybe it's Y. So uh, Y for me, it may be different for you. Anyway, we can make the text thicker. And when I rotate this, you'll see on the camera down there that it's actually a lot thicker. So uh, we can do that. We can scale it to be, you know, scrunched up or stretched out how we want things to go. Same with this one. Give a little bit of different look to it, etc. And uh, let me actually, what we did is we actually did that over the course of keyframes. As you can see, we created a new keyframe there. So this will actually change color and scrunch up and move out. It's kind of like a caterpillar almost. That was kind of by accident, but hopefully uh, that maybe is uh, helpful to you guys. It's a little tidbit there. You got to make sure if you want your text to be consistent, then uh, I'd set all this stuff up beforehand before you do any animating. But of course, you can easily just go ahead and highlight all these and change everything to be how you want it to be. Bring up the mix percentage, change the color, doesn't really matter, just like so. And give it some thickness on the Y there, maybe scrunch it up a bit on the X, and bada bing, bada boom. That was all relatives, so we're going to go ahead and kill this one, and there you go. 
just like so. That was a little bit messy, but hopefully you guys get it. And there's the text. You can have dang old stuff going on with text to your opening credits with 3D text in your scene and all that good stuff. One thing we did not cover though is when you go to the text object here, when you actually bring it in from the crafting bench or when you go over here to the library, you have the font and this by default, the Minecraft font. But you can browse and go to other font files on your computer if you downloaded one or something and you have one that's compatible you can browse and select a different font that minimator will use instead of this one so you can get different text books that way as well so that pretty much covers it you do have the face camera option here but this is basically just makes the text face wherever the camera is that can be a bit wonky unless you're doing just like a still image or something like that uh depends on the cameras you have in your scene and all that good stuff but anyway that should basically cover the basics of text hopefully that helps you hopefully that made sense and uh get you going with your own animations all right so thanks for watching guys hope that was helpful if you like the video feel free to hit that like button comment and subscribe to become a citizen today share it with your friends and your family and your pets and i'll see you guys in the next video